Phew. It's October. We've already had senior night. And Halloween's dressed around the corner. First quarter's ending, and we have new stories. So it's time for another edition of Your, Your Nightly Night. News. Welcome to the third edition of Your Nightly News. I'm Drew. And I'm Matt. Today we got a great story for you on XC, aka Cross Country. But first, let's check out the second place winner in the Dunlap Field Invitational. <laughs> right, 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 right. Guys, guys, no. Guys, can we try it again from the top? Alright, maybe we should take a look at some people who actually know how to play. Yeah. So Olivia, tell me, how long have you been in band? I've been in band about seven years. That's good, that's good. So tell me, what is your favorite instrument? My favorite instrument's the tenor saxophone. That's what I play. Sweet. So what is this field training? Well, to learn the field show, every person on the field has a dot, and they have a, the whole graph, the whole field is a graph. And so they have to march every set back and forth, and there's about 24 sets in a song. So it's a lot of intense learning for everybody. I bet it is. <laughs> so do you have a future with instruments? I want to play in the band at ICC and then hopefully be in the Monmouth Marching Band. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you, Olivia, for coming out and taking this time for an interview. So, Jordan, tell me, how long have you been in band? I have been in band since fifth grade, Lance. Wow, that's quite a long time. So what instrument do you play? I play the drums. <laughs> the drums? <laughs> so uh, do you have a future with instruments? Uh, possibly. I might go to college and play a band, but it's not for sure yet. Well, thank you, Jordan, for taking this time to get this interview with us. Thank you. So, Kirsten, how long have you been in band? Since, like, fifth grade, so, like, seven years. Jeez, that's, that's a pretty long time. What's your favorite instrument? Um, well, I play the drums, so probably that, but I play the trombone, too, and I really like that as well. Do you have a future with music? Um, well, I'm hoping to go into music therapy, so it's, like obviously therapy related to music so it's really cool but yeah and then I hope to be like in college being like the college band or choir or something so yeah <laughs> all right thank you so mr. Russell what can you tell us about the band leaders this year uh, we have uh, really good band leaders um, mainly two of them uh, Olivia Crank is our drum major uh, she has done a great job ever since band camp has started um, motivating the kids um, doing exactly what she needs making sure everybody has everything they need getting them organized um, and she has just done an outstanding job this year uh, Jordan Zmia he is our drum captain and he has done an excellent job uh, same thing just making sure that the uh, the drum line is motivated they all have their music learned he is um, he's good about getting uh, practices to Together and making sure everybody has everything they need. So yeah, I'm really good in the student leader department. So. All right, sounds like you'll have a great year. Um, what's your favorite instrument? Uh, my favorite instrument is um, I, I played saxophone in school, so I used to love that. But uh, lately, I've um, I've been leaning a lot more towards bass guitar. I play that um, every chance I get. I, I have community opportunities that I that I get to play. So um, I'm kind of thinking that. Uh, later on in life, that's probably going to be the, the main thing that I uh, that I play. All right, that sounds really interesting. Um, what do you expect from band competitions? Uh, competitions. All I really expect is for my kids to go out there and do their best. Um, they have been they've been training really really hard ever since band camp, and uh, we are we are definitely ahead of where we usually are at this point in our season. So um, I think if they stay focused. Uh, they, they do as good a job as they possibly can. I think at competitions, we, we have a very good chance of, uh, of coming home with some trophies. So we should be good.
that concludes our musical interlude. I think we should just stick with football. It sounds good, Lance. Yep. And congratulations to Mr. Russell for his $1,000 award from News 25. And thanks for the nomination, Olivia. Over the years, one of the school's most successful sports programs is often overlooked. Let's see if we can go catch up with them. The Knights are off to a running start this year. Let's go try and catch up with a few. But first, let's take a few laps. I don't like to run. So Aaron, how's the XC team doing this year? What does XC mean? Cross country. Sorry, I guess you don't know the lingo. But anyways, I don't like running, so why do you? Um, because I like to stay in shape. Good, that's good. Um, uh, so how do you like Coach Bauer? Uh, she's okay. She's a good coach. All right, that's good to know. And uh, what are your goals for this year? Um, we just want to try to make it to sectionals, both boys and girls. Well, those are some great goals to have, Aaron. Thank you for your time. So now we've established what XC means, uh, Aaron. How's the XC boys team looking this year? Uh, we're doing really good. Discus and shot put are going. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's track. I said XC. Oh, um, the team's looking really well. Everyone's running great. Um, we're hoping to go far in regionals and sectionals this year, just in the state. What are your personal goals then? Um. Uh, I haven't thought that much through yet, but to make it to sectionals or state, one of those two. Those are good goals to have. What's your PR? 1738. That's a good PR. Uh, how do you like Coach Bauer and Coach Lee? Uh, they're good coaches. Uh, they're a little bit different from what I'm used to, but overall, 9 out of 10. That's good. That's good. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Thank you for the interview. So, Claire, how's the cross-country team doing this year? We're doing pretty well. What number are you in the team? I'm our number one female runner. That's good. So, do you guys wear certain outfits to certain meets? Sometimes we wear pink shorts and other times we wear blue. Do you have a certain reason for this or just to do it? Just to do it. Well, I'm glad that you could come on an interview with us today. And hopefully you guys will do good for the rest of the season. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you. So Evan, what's your favorite thing about running? When it's over. Mine too. So uh, what are your goals for this cross country season? Uh, just to get better throughout every race this year. And um, what's your personal best? I have no idea. All right, so um, who is the best runner on the team? Me. And last question, do you know what XC stands for? Because there's some members that don't know what it stands for. I think it stands for deer crossing, though. I'm pretty sure. It's close enough. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck to the Knights in the rest of their season. What? I told them not to run. Continued success at your upcoming regionals. Now let's take a look at some upcoming activities. Well, that's our show. Next time, seniors, and a look at the field crest students with more challenges than the rest of us. In the meantime, you keep being splendid. We'll see you soon with another edition of Your Nightly News. Your Nightly News.